in this video we are looking at that uh this is a continuation from the previous video so if you haven't watched the previous video please do so where we were covering data's reconciliation and the data's analysis so today we are looking at that and uh it's it's question 2.2 which says forever traders tom smith is the sole owner the information relates to the VAT period ended 31 August 2020. And then the standard VAT rate of 15% is applicable. Is applicable to all goods uh, purchased and sold. Okay. So the first question says calculate the VAT amount that is payable to SARS on 31 August 2020. Alright. So we just jump straight into our information. We're given information A that amount due to SARS on the 1st of August 2020 is 31,470 which means we owe SARS 31,470 on the 1st of August and then now information B we have the following transactions that appeared in the records for August 2020 total sales purchases of stock etc etc so um, one way I like to do this is by using the T account so there we have source. You can also say that. Uh, that account. Okay, so it's a credit plus the side debit minus because this is a liability account. Now, if you tend to get confused, you can just draw your R's like this. Then how I remember is that this is an input because it goes into the account. Right? And then this is an output because it goes out of the account but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, money is going out of the account it just means that you are incurring more debt and then this side you are decreasing your your debt okay so we are going to start off with our total sales we are given here you're excluding vat which is your 100 percent but they told you that vat is at 15 percent so let's just take note of that so that amount is 15 percent and then you're including that is 100 plus the 15 which is 115 percent so just take note of that <coughs> now the first thing that we're supposed to do um is quite easy so total total sales we're given a that amount of 80,250 so we just record it as it is on our credit side but remember that we had a balance um, put down of 30, wait, towards the amount again, 31,470, 31,470, and then we have sales there of 80,250, alright, so that's the VAT amount. Now we're going to purchases of stock, remember that when you purchase stock, um, you get a receipt, okay, and then on your receipt you're gonna have an amount written that amount so that simply means you have paid that now we are going to decrease our vet that we owe to source by 57,750 so this is purchases I'm just gonna add uh, the abbreviation it's 57,750 and then now we go to uh, this count received from supplies so when supplies um, offer offer us a discount that simply means they have transferred the vat onto us they have transferred um the the vat liability onto the business so now i'm just going to quickly grab my calculator and, and calculate the vat amount because we are not given the vat amount today we're only given the amount excluding vat okay so let's get into the calculation so it's eleven thousand five hundred times because we're given a hundred what we want is 15 over what we know let's see what that is 15 over 100 so it's 1725 so if they offer us a discount now we all saw more text 1200 or oh, 1725 okay so we're done with both those now goods returned by debtors this is the opposite of a sale so we have done a sale now they are returning the goods remember that when 
<coughs> we were doing this aid we would have recorded um our vet on the credit side all right now they are returning the goods that simply means we have to decrease what we owe to source by the vet amount which we're not given and we're supposed to calculate so we are using 22,500 multiplied by 15 over 100 and you can just simply say 15 percent so it's 22,500 times okay that's 3375 so we're supposed to okay it's um goods returned by debtors suppose so you can just say debtors allowance uh, but i'm writing short just because this um these are my workings okay so it's 3375 we're done now stock taken by the owner cost definitely this will increase our vet amount and we need to calculate 15 percent of 9600 so 15% times 9,600 is 15% times 9,600. That's 1,440. So you can just say drawings here. Oh, I never gave this this amount in account. What were we calculating there? Oh, we said discount. So we can just say discount allowed. All right, now we are moving to the last one, which is debtors accounts written off at 36,800. Now we have written off our debtors. Uh, at first we made a sale, of course, now we're writing them off. It's similar as, it's similar to our goods returned by debtors, which means we are going to decrease our VAT amount. But now take note that we are given the VAT amount, uh, VAT inclusive amount. So it's supposed to be 36,800 multiplied by 15 over 115. That will give us 36,800 times 15 over, okay, that's 4,800. Okay, so we're going to decrease our VAT by 4,800. Uh, debtors account written off. So you can just say debtors. All right, so now we can compare the two sides and we can definitely see that the credit side is much bigger. And let's just calculate and see what the total is. 470 plus 80 to 50, 725. So here I'm getting 114885. So it's supposed to be the same also on this side. Then you can take this amount and subtract all of these to see what we have as our balance carried down three three seven five minus four thousand eight hundred and um our balance carried down as forty eight thousand nine hundred and sixty all right so that's forty eight nine sixty of course they did say payable um but if we're not to say we're not told that it's payable or receivable. You were supposed to state that it's 4,960, which is payable to source. But yeah, in this case, we, we were told that it's, it's payable. So you would get a mark for this and also get a mark for payable in some cases. Okay, so now we move on to the second question. It says, during September 22, so during September, the accountant came across a document for furniture bought by Tom Smith for his personal home. Remember that Tom Smith, uh, Tom Smith is the owner. So he bought personal stuff for his personal home for forty six thousand cash. Then Tom said that six thousand VAT included in this amount must be regarded as input VAT. Okay, so it's personal home, and then now he said that six thousand must be included as input VAT. Remember that input VAT decreases what we owe to source. And then now, further investigation revealed that similar documents were regularly entered in the books over the past year. Now, we are supposed to advise the accountant on dealing with this matter, and we're supposed to state two points. Okay, so one thing that I've noted is that Tom uses the business's accounts 
in the business's books to record his personal um his personal purchases and then he has also done some fraud here which we call tax evasion so those are the two things that i have i have picked up in this scenario and you can just say tom does not <clears throat> does not adhere to the business business entity entity concept and then the second one is tax evasion <coughs> is excuse me for that so tax evasion is fraudulent fraudulent activity and may lead to penalties by SARS finding the business or any prosecution okay so that's it for this short video um like i said in the previous video that it's gonna be a, a continuation such that i wanted to cover the two the two topics um in two different videos because they cover two different concepts so thank you once again for joining me today i hope this was helpful don't forget to like subscribe and drop a comment on whatever uh paper you want me to do next uh anything regarding accounting any help so i'll definitely see you in the next video cheers